let's have a look at possibly the most difficult percentage sums. Decreasing a value by a percentage. So let's say there was an item that was 200 Rand. So this, take it as the circle as being the original price of the item and it's 200 Rand and you're given a 15% discount. What would you pay? Now most people will go 15 percent of 200 is 30 rand and they will minus it and you will get the correct answer so let's record that way of doing it you could go uh, 200 subtract 15 percent uh, times 200 and you will get 200 minus 30 and that will give you 170 which is the correct answer you do pay 170 if you get a 15% discount on a 200 Rand item. But there is another way to do it, and it's a very important way to think about, as I'll show you just now. If you get a 15% discount, you could actually immediately find out what percentage you are paying. If you get a 15% discount, then the part you are paying is 100 minus 15. In other words, 85%. So another way and a faster way actually to do this is simply to find 85% of 200 Rand and you'll get 170. So that was far faster. There were less calculations because here we did this calculation and then we subtracted to get the answer. Here, this calculation was far easier, often done in our head, but just backed up with a calc with 100 minus 15 is 85 and go straight to here. Much, much faster and easier. And there is an advantage to be thinking like this. And this comes to, if given the discounted price, find the original price. So what if you are given that an article costs 170 Rand. What was the original whole price? Now, having just done this example, you actually should have the knowledge that obviously the price is 200. We know the correct answer should be 200 Rand. But let's have a look at what a lot of children would do, or can I just say human beings? We would say, um, okay, they said the price is 170 after a discount of 15%. After a discount of 15%, the price is 170. What was the original price? What do a lot of us do? We say 15% of 170 and we add it on. But we're not going to get the right um, original price. Why? Because if we do that, we're finding 15% of a smaller number. Remember, originally the price was 200 and they found 15% of 200, which was 30. And so we got 170. Now, if you find 15% of 170, it's clearly not going to be 30 rand. It's going to be less. So if you add it on, you're going to get maybe 190 something. You're not going to get 200. So you cannot use that method. So then what do you do? The key is to think about this. When we get a discount of 15%, we pay 85%. So actually, we can do two things. We can take 170 and we can times by 100 and divide by 85. Right? So we're going to, I would just do that. So we're going to come here, 170, and we're going to times by 100 to go back to what you want, which is 100%, and divide by what you actually have, which is 